This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Design video product faster, with Envato Elements, get unlimited downloads, After Effects templates, stock footages, fonts, music files, web templates and many more. Visit the Envato Elements, check the first link in the description, and get 70% discount on first month subscription. Here you can see, I have already imported the file required for this project. You can download all of them, from the below link in the description. You can also download this template for free, from my web store, you can check the link in the description. Now let's start with creating the visualizer, create a new composition, name it as audio visualizer. Here for this visualizer, you need to set the time duration depending on your music file. For this demonstration, I will just set the time duration to 20 seconds. Remaining everything will be the same. Let's add the music file to the timeline. Now pre-compose this music layer, name it as music. Now add the image file to the timeline. Scale this image file to fit the composition. Let's pre-compose this image layer. Name it as background media. Perfect. Now press S to bring up the scale. Now slightly increase the scale value. Now press P to bring up position. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for position. Now at one second, adjust the position of background media as shown. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Perfect. Now select the rectangle tool. Make sure fill option is set to solid color. Stroke option is set to none. Now create shape as shown. In effects and preset, search for fill. Add fill to shape layer. Change fill color to black. Now for shape layer, press P to bring up position, at one second, create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timeline, change position of the shape layer is shown. Select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now set opacity for this shape layer to 50%. To increase this sliding speed of the shape layer, you can adjust the speed graph. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be our visualizer layer. 
Now in effects and preset. Search for audio spectrum. Add it to the created visualizer layer. Now select pen tool. Let's create a straight mask for visualizer. For audio spectrum, change path to mask 1. Change audio layer to music composition. For audio spectrum, change end frequency to 600. Change frequency band to 115. Change maximum height to 500. Softness to 0%. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the visualizer layer. Here you can set the color for visualizer. Now in effects and preset, search for directional blur, add it to the visualizer layer. Set blur length to 35. For visualizer layer, press T to bring up opacity. Add 1 second, create keyframe for opacity. Now at start of the timer line, set opacity to 0%. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this visualizer layer, press Ctrl plus T to create duplicate. For this visualizer, change thickness to 1.5. Here you can change the color of visualizer. Perfect. Now let's add the text layers. Let's add the main text. Here I will be using Unisans font family. Set the font size according to the text layer. Adjust the text position. For text layer, press P to bring up position, at 1 second, create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timer line, change position value for text layer as shown. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now let's add the second text. Adjust the font size. For second text layer, press P to bring up the position. At one second, create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timer line, change position for text layer as shown. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now place these text layers at distance of 10 to 15 frames. If you want, you can also add opacity keyframes for both of these text layers, at a distance of 1 second. As shown. Perfect. 
Now let's add the third text layer. In paragraph alignment, align the text to left. For this text, I will change font style to thin caps. For this third text layer, create opacity keyframes. Now place this layer at a distance of more than one second. Perfect. Now let's add the timer, add the time as shown. For the timer I will change font style to heavy caps. For this timer, we need to add the expression for source text. You need to copy this expression. This expression is also provided in the description section. While pressing Alt key, click on the stopwatch of the source text. Now paste the copied expression here. Perfect, you can see the preview. For this timer, let's create opacity keyframes. Place this timer layer at one second. Perfect. Now let's create the progress bar. Here below the timer, we will create the progress bar. Make sure you have not selected any layers. Select the pen tool. Now make sure fill option is set to none. Stroke option is set to solid color. Set stroke width to 20. Now create line as shown. For this line. We will change style to round cap. Perfect, now in effects and preset, search for fill, add it to the shape layer too. Set the fill color as shown. Now create opacity keyframes. Now let's create duplicate of this shape layer. For duplicate layer, change the fill color as shown. For shape layer 3, add trim path. Now go at end of the timer line, create keyframe for end. At start of the timer line, change end value to 0%. Perfect, you can see the preview. Now select the rectangle tool. Change fill to solid color. Stroke option to none. Here we will create a small circle. Select the ellipse tool. Now create shape as shown. Place it at start of the progress bar. At start of the timer line, 
Press P to bring up the position. Create keyframe for position. Now at end of the timer line, adjust the position as shown. You can see the preview. Now create the opacity keyframes. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add the provided media file to the timeline. Scale them to near about 50%. Place them below the progress bar. Now arrange them one by one as shown. Perfect. On the other side, we will create the menu bar. Make sure you have not selected any of the layers. Select pen tool. Change fill option to none. Change stroke option to solid color. Set stroke width to four. Now create the line as shown. If you want you can increase the stroke width. Now we will create duplicate of this shape 1. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. For shape 2, in transform, change position, set it to 16. Now let's create duplicate of shape 2. For shape 3, change position to 32. For main shape layer, add trim path. For trim path, at 2 seconds, create keyframe for end. Now at 1 second, change end to 0%. Select keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Here you can see our media layer are short, here we need to stretch them, by creating end hold keyframe. For all this media layers. Go to time, select freeze on last keyframe. You can see the length of the file is increased. We will do the same for all the three layers. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our clean audio visualizer is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial.